My name is Christian, I'm Italian, and I grew up in Northwest Italy, but I, I came to live in London eight years ago. And uh, I grew up uh, in a dysfunctional family where uh, I felt a lot of abuse from my mom. And uh, my relationship with my father was, uh, he was really passive and I felt uh, really disconnected with him. Usually my mom, she was, she was cold with me. Like the atmosphere in the house was completely dark and uh, I was feeling, I felt no love and I felt abandonment. That uh, really something, like I start to reject myself and actually to hate myself as well. In the elementary school, uh, my first year was actually fine, but the second year something happened, like I changed completely and I start to uh, separate myself from other guys. I start to feel the same sex attraction and uh, I felt a lot of shame and fear. My medication, I think, was pornography because I became so addicted to pornography. I was watching pornography every week, sometimes every day, to be honest. I was thinking I was born gay. And before the 18, actually, didn't have any gay experience because uh, for me it was like a taboo and it was a secret. And I didn't have a lot of freedom at home. I couldn't go out so much. When I got 18, I decided to leave my house. So it's been like a, a season of eight months far away from my house. But actually, I destroyed my life because I started to use a lot of ecstasy and uh, I started to have a gay experience as well. Uh, about the ecstasy, I was like uh, dying one time because I felt, um, I started to uh, sweat really cold and uh, I didn't have a feeling on my legs. I couldn't walk for, and, and I didn't believe in God, but that time I said, God, if you're alive, save me. And instantly I've been completely saved. And yeah, the gay relationship or the sexual gay experience, they were not fulfill my heart because to be honest, I was looking for love and friendship and connection. But I didn't find it. I find actually people were looking only for sex and fun. And uh, because uh, after the seven months, I was uh, a bit sick, to be honest. I was depressed and uh, I decided to go back home. And my mom, she took me to a new age lady. And it was like a mixture of Catholicism and new age. And from that moment, I became Catholic. So I start to pray the rosary every week and go to mass. And uh, from that moment, I, I change a bit my perception of myself. And I start to question as well if I, I was really born gay or no. But in that season, I remember I had a sexual gay experience that really marked my life. Because uh, uh, after this gay experience, I had a nightmare. And uh, the nightmare was like I was running in a building and when I arrived on the top uh, there was like a, a picture of Satan and he told me you have to worship him. So that shook me but to be honest um, I didn't ask help or you know I just repent of my sin but I didn't think so much about it. And uh, after that experience I became really a religious person and uh, I decided to to become a monk, a Catholic monk. Usually I was like uh, praying with other brothers and that was, for me, was really amazing because I felt uh, like a belonging. But I didn't encounter the love of the Father, actually. I, I was more religious person. And uh, on my fourth years, something changed in my life because uh, I've been invited to a charismatic conference. Uh, I remember the leader prayed the blood of Jesus to wash all the body of the people in the room and crazy healing happened. Like uh, one lady uh, from the wheelchair, she stood up and people, blind people, they start to see. And uh, on my body, I felt like a vortex and I start to see a huge demon. From that moment, it's like my spiritual eyes has been open and I became really sensitive in the spirit. And because I was seeing this demon, I decided to seek help. Uh, so I find uh, like a charismatic priest and uh, this priest really helped me to uh, start a journey of deep healing and deliverance. And Jesus started to reveal me that so all the pain inside my life, because when I was a child, I repressed so many things and actually the Holy Spirit start to bring uh, on the out of the pain and uh, start to reveal me as well that in my family there was a lot of occult things as uh, my great-grandmother was a, a witch 
and uh, a lot of iniquity and uh, idolatry came in my life. A lot of my brokenness came in, into my life because of the occult. In Christ uh, I find purpose and real love and actually I find friendship with him but as well I find a community of other brothers that I can be real, I can be honest and uh, I find my true identity in him and actually in the gay lifestyle I didn't find uh, purpose. I didn't find the real love and real connection with other people, with other guys. I was like to see the lack of my masculinity or the lack inside myself. And personally, I think uh, uh, nobody born gay but, and uh, I'm, I'm not born gay, but actually I find uh, in Christ my true identity. I find a real love because uh, I was looking for love. In my life I received uh, a lot of healing through pastoral care and uh, for me it was not harmful, but actually I received more revelation of who I am in Christ and uh, I received so much healing in, in the relationship with my father, in relationship with my mom and as well uh, in relationship with myself. I learned to accept myself in Christ.